Welcome to Theater Arts. Theater is a large department with opportunities from people who range from serious actors to people who want to have some fun. There are many different classes offered in the theater department that span over acting and technical fields. Today I will be focusing on the acting side of the spectrum. When you first join theater, you will enter into Theater One, in which you will learn some basic skills needed to be an actor. You will do this through different exercises and games that you will participate in during class. If you decide to take theater for a second year, you will audition for an opportunity to be in the Varsity One Act class, which we will talk about later. If you don't make it into the Varsity class, don't worry. Based on your grade and experience level, you will either be played into Theater 2 or Theater 3-4. I talked to one of the head directors, Mr. John Alonzo, about some of the differences between these different classes. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? Doing well. How are you? I'm doing very good. Good deal. Um, so today we're here to talk about some of the different theater classes mm -hmm. and some different things in them. So could you kind of explain to me, uh, let's talk a little bit about Theater One, the entry-level class. Sure. What kind of things can students expect to actually be doing in Theater One? <clears throat> theater One is a basic introduction to the theater, I guess, world, you can say. Um, so a lot of it is introducing them to vocabulary, lingo, uh, the type of language that we use so that they can get used to it when they do a show or a performance. Also getting them accustomed to standing up and getting some confidence as well, uh, as, well as getting prepared to do a performance. So we'd, I would say they'd be presenting at least once every two weeks in some sort of presentational form. That could just be standing up and reciting something, a poem. Um, memorization tactics, helping students how to learn how to memorize lines mm. so that they can get used to and um, get prepared to go on to two, three, or four. But it's really, it's really basic. Uh, another thing that we look at is helping them understand the basics of audition pieces, slating. See, that's a part of lingo that some people may not understand. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, you know what slating is, is telling mm -hmm. us your name, the character you're about to play. Um, that's pretty much about about it for, for Theater One. Okay. And as you move past Theater One um, to get into the, the you know more upper level classes, you have to audition. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of go through what you need for that audition, what's kind of the audition process like. Sure. So uh, we audition for anything past one just because we want to know that you understand it. it is commitment. After one, one is there for your fine arts credit to get you involved to kind of show you a, a window um, of what it, what's possible for you if you want to participate in the program if you want to get involved past that right uh, it's understood that you sh you will be participating it's no longer optional we expect you to participate in shows and skits um, any kind of performances we might have for the public um, and what it is is uh, we show you how to prepare a performance piece, either a comedic or contemporary or a dramatic piece. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we, we prepare you on you know how to dress, how to slate. <clears throat> you, pr you do that audition for us. And then if you make it into two, three, or four, um, it's a little different here because we, have, we also have a student directing uh, class that goes along with two. And what you'll be doing is you'll be using all the skills that you learned in theater one as far as acting and going a little deeper and doing full length performances, like a, maybe a full children's show. So you don't just do bits and pieces of skits or um, scenes, but you do mm -hmm. longer performances. And then what those student directors and the teacher who's teaching theater two, they'll go more in depth, like techniques. There's methods, there's um, like the Meisner method, you might, look at that. Uh, method acting is something that may look, you might look at. She may touch on other things such as musical theater. Um, so that's really like two and beyond. Mm -hmm. And then from two, if you continue to choose three or four, three or four is there because we are planning to use you in the one act, in the fall show, musical show, spring show, any other public performances. As, as well as prepare you to pursue uh, something outside of high school. Mm 
as far as theater goes. Mm -hmm. So you're either hoping to perform in live theater outside of school or for college, or maybe you're planning on teaching. And so we emphasize um, exercises, uh, acting exercises for you to learn and to use it to practice as an actor, as well as something that you might be able to teach in the future. Um, and then, of course, there's the one act, which is a, technically a theater four class, and that's for competition. So you use all the skills you learned in one and two, and then you have uh, um, certain rules that the state tells you to follow and able to do a performance. So you compete against other schools, you have a time limit, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you have a limit to set it, setting up your set, so forth and so forth. So that's really the acting, the acting portion of, of okay. the theater program. And so if someone were to want to, say, audition for one of these things, what are the things that they'll need to have prepared just for that audition to audition for the, one of these mm -hmm. classes? So if, let's say you're, you're in theater one, you took theater mm -hmm. one you're, and you wanted to go on to two, three, four. Um, you would want to have, most of the time there's uh, two pieces that are always asked for, and they're usually contrasting. So if you do a comedic piece, you need to choose a comedic piece, and usually you want to talk to the director to ask them uh, if it's appropriate, if it's timely, um, if it fills the need of whatever the director might want. And then the other piece would be contrasting. So if it's comedic, you would want a dramatic to contrast that. Or if it's a period piece, then you would want a contemporary piece. Um, so they would tell you what you need for that. Um, I would say you would want to be presentable Mm -hmm. for an audition. Um, it doesn't look great to the director if you come in in shorts and flip-flops and a t-shirt uh, just because you're expected that by the time you're done with theater one you know how to present yourself as an actor because that's something that you want to pursue. At least that's the mindset that we would get as mm -hmm. directors. Uh, then you would um, use the tactics and the methods of memorizing your, your lines, being able to connect emotions, ideas, to whatever piece that you chose and then present it to the director. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you for letting us know about some of the different theater classes so some of the incoming students can kind of understand a little bit more how sure. the whole department works. So sure. thank you very much for sitting. So that's that. Those are the differences between some of the different theater classes in our department. Now, later this month, the Varsity Theater Program will be performing the show Archipelago. Feel free to check in on it during the school day performance on March 5th. Now, if you're interested and want more information about some of these different classes, come visit the theater room and talk to either Mrs. Schneider or Mr. Alonzo.